Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be drawing it. the main character from the popular anime, um, Demon Slayer. I have not ever watched this anime, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name. Um, I always get it wrong somehow, but before we get started on that, I do want to quickly give a close friend of mine a shout out. And I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm just going to show it here. And I will link his, um, you know, link to his channel in the description below. So this is his channel, basically it's a gameplay channel, and I've already subscribed to him and everything, so he's actually just starting out, so please give him some support. And here is his name, and this is what it looks like. Again, you can find it in the link though. Um, but yeah, let's get right into the video. I'm going to show you what picture we're drawing, and um, I'm also going to be drawing his sister in a different video. But the reason why I wanted to do him is because... Again, the art style looks great. It's a very popular anime, and I myself really want to start watching it. But yeah, this is the one we're going to be drawing right here. And then later on, I'm going to draw this one. So yeah, I'm just going to do the upper body. Um, not the whole thing, because I won't have enough time, and that's a lot of work, and I don't think everyone wants to draw the full body. Maybe just, like, you know, the basics. But if you would, of course, I can make a video of that, too. But let's just start with... Um, the side of his face, which will be just, so far, a straight line. Let me zoom in a little bit. And then, his face isn't too, I guess, like, sharp and edgy, it's just, you know, pretty rounded. So just go down at a, you know, soft angle, not too sharp. And then, his chin is also rounded as well, so let's just bring it back up and meet to his ear. I always like to freestyle the, um, or freehand, you know, the face shape. I don't like to do all the steps. Sometimes I do, it just varies, but this is usually how I do it. So after you do that though, you want to connect it to his ear. And right here, I'm just going to start sketching a little bit of what he's wearing. And then you can see a little bit of his neck right here. You don't have to worry um, too much about that. That's just kind of getting it into place. Now, the only unfortunate thing is when you don't know a certain anime, I don't know how to describe certain things like these things right here. I honestly don't know what those are. <laughs> but I know the thing on his forehead probably is a scar. That's for sure. And speaking of which, let's go right into his eye, which will be leveled up a little bit with his ear. You always want to make sure it's a little bit below. And you're going to round it off like this, so it's not flat and it's not super, you know, just right in between. And be careful not to draw too dark though, because I recommend, you know, if you make a mistake, you don't want to have any leftovers. Or, you know, residue of what you drew. And his eyebrow will be kind of, um, slanted down. And then his iris will just be a circle. And as you can see, I'm just sketching everything in. And then the bottom will kind of round off like that, and it's not touching though, so make sure that those aren't touching. So yeah, that's what you should have so far, you can even draw his eyelid. Now the detail on his eye, I can't see it very well in this um, picture, but I think basically his pupil does something like that, and then there is like a glare in the eye, and I unfortunately don't have a lot of room, so I hope I'm getting this all right. And then you can just shade it. And uh, do forgive me, this is actually my first time drawing him, so I don't know if I'll make a lot of mistakes or not, but that's why we have our handy dandy eraser. Now his nose is fairly small, you know, just your average um, anime nose, I guess, but nothing super special. Just draw this and then the nostril right here. And of course there is a shadow, which I usually do that later, but, you know. Now, something I've noticed with um, anime lips or manga, whatever, you know, usually um, you'll draw it and then the edges will be more dark. And again, as said in one of my other videos, you can actually like erase the middle part to kind of split it. This one doesn't do that, but I'm just going to do that anyway, just because. So that's just 
Um, basically the lips pretty simple, you know, just again make the edges a little bit more dark and then the um, lower lip and then the split in the middle. Now I'm going to just kind of lightly sketch over to make sure that these are even. And basically um, the nose will come up here and that's where it meets up with this eyebrow. So you want to make sure everything falls into place. And make sure that these again line up. That way they're not like uneven, basically. And I'm going to finish up this eye off camera only to save on time. If you do need like a full uh, tutorial on how to draw, you know, both eyes, I'm pretty sure I made a video on it. Either that or you could, you know, pause the video and try to catch up. But let me go ahead and sketch this in and then we can move on to his hair. Okay, so I did finish um, sketching this one and I'm doing like a comparison. Um, my art style kind of came in and it doesn't look like fully, you know, like the original. I do apologize for that. I always try to make it look like the original as much as possible, but his eyes are a little bit smaller than the actual ones and I hope that's not a huge, huge deal, but I'm going to um, go in and kind of start you know, rounding up his face and where his hair falls in. So basically, um, his hair is very unique, by the way. But there's a whole lot of, um, I don't know how to describe this part, but I'm just basically like, you know, getting his hair on his head and everything. Um, I also do like to use shapes, like I've said before. So let me, this one comes down right here. And instead of it being like, you know, smooth and wavy, it's actually kind of like, has like a lot of rough edges to it, so I guess that's the unique thing about us here. And his scar, um, I'm actually just going to sketch that in right now too. We're just going to come up right here, and basically I'm just going to draw what I see. It's definitely not going to be perfect, so um, you guys will probably do better at this than I will. Just a whole lot of, you know, pointy edges and stuff. I don't think this has to look super perfect, so if it doesn't, you know, it's not a huge deal either, but let me shade this in. That's pretty much about it for the scar. Um, I just looked off the photo, so if that's not perfect, again, I'm so sorry. Okay, but let's go and start doing this here. So I'm just going to start kind of going all, you know, over the place, not going to do anything in a certain order. Um, I will try to, you know, do it slowly so that you guys can kind of keep up with me. But I just drew these two little hairs uh, peeking out behind his head. And you can see a little bit of his other ear over here, but it is also covered up by some hair. And let's see, so this one comes out like so, and again, um, they're not flippy and like smooth, they're, they're really jagged and I didn't make that look very like that, so that's, probably have to fix that later, but I guess the whole point about a hair is you don't have to be neat about it. And I can't really explain it very well, but hopefully you guys do understand. Alright, so I'm also going to speed this part up a little bit though. I've done um, countless characters on hair similar to this, so hopefully you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this and be able to do it. Um, okay, so something else that I'm noticing is basically from here it all kind of like falls behind. And I'm really bad at explaining, but you know, comes into one if that makes any sense. So basically what I'm trying to say is like, from here you really don't have to be like, neat at all. Um, it just kind of comes in waves, I guess. You can come, uh, you can like, draw some poking behind the hair. And again, does not have to look neat. And as you can see, that's, I gotta fix that. 
Yeah, I'm going to finish this up because I'm going to make a lot of mistakes and I shall come back and explain what I did. Okay, so as you can see, I did kind of finish it up a little bit. Really all you have to do after that is kind of go in and like give it some light, you know, sketches of lines as in uh, details to his hair. And then I might shave that afterwards, but it just depends. But let's go in and um, start doing some other details. Like I said, I don't know what this is. I really hope they're earrings, but if they're not, I have no idea what they would be. Um, and I'll just kind of give it some detail, I'm not going to worry too much on that either. But then after this, I'm going to go in with his clothes, and that would be pretty much about it for this video. See, so yeah, I'm just trying to uh, sketch these in and kind of make them even. Okay, so right here is where his clothes start to come in, right underneath his chin. And if any of you know me, I'm very terrible, um, terrible at explaining clothes, so I'm just going to, you know, slowly go through with it and try to tell you what I'm doing. But there is, you know, it comes out like this, just give it some lines to, uh, for detail, and then you draw a circle right here, pretty sure that's a button or something. Um, but here comes like the hard part, which is the wrinkles. So I'm just going to draw a whole bunch of bumps, basically. And his arm is going to be coming out and, you know, holding his sword. Pretty sure that's what that is. Yeah, it's a sword. Um, so this is where you can draw overlapping wrinkles. And even I myself, like, I'm not super perfect about, you know, wrinkles myself, but I just kind of like, again, draw what I see. So, for example, it's all, um, you know, connecting basically, and this is his sleeve. So, from here, we're going to draw something along the lines of that. This is also where his um, elbow comes in, you know, his other He's basically wearing clothes that are coming out of the kimono, if that makes any sense at all. Basically like, like that. And um, as you can see, I don't have a proper setup, so you probably won't be able to see the whole thing, which I definitely do apologize for. So, if I went too fast on um, this part, again, feel free to pause it, try to draw what you see. But um, from here, I'm going to start drawing in his hand. So this part I will explain a little bit better. So this is his sleeve, and right here we're going to come up. And there's two bumps right here, right here and here. And you're going to stop right there. And from here, we're going to draw his first finger, which is, of course, bent. And you don't want to come all the way down, you want to stop right there. But you can even do three more bumps, and then come down, and then you can kind of go in and, you know, finish that up. But yeah, that's really about it for a closed hand. Not the best, of course, but not the worst, I don't think. You can even go in and give it more detail as you go, but... Now I'm going to draw the handle of the sword, which I probably can't do all this in real time either. Because already the video has been 14 minutes and I don't want this to be too, too long. And yeah, as you can see, I've already made a little mistake. This is kind of off. So let me go ahead and fix this and I will be back again to kind of tell you what I did. Okay, so I kind of did, you know, get the whole sketch in, um, this part is definitely good for a ruler, which I did not have one handy at the moment, so I kind of just, you know, again, sketched it, um, and basically all it is is you come up here and you just make, you know, finish the sword. The handle I didn't get too detailed, but, you know, you can basically make that however you want to, or just uh, look off how I did it, but I wanted to make this video a little bit quicker. Let me go ahead and darken this up and... Again, if you have a ruler, um, I'm pretty 
picky on how, you know, straight things are and how they line up. So this is definitely not something I'm super proud of, but for um, not having a ruler nearby, it's not that bad, I guess. But yeah, the thing is, um, I don't even know what this is right here, so I'm just going to draw what I'm seeing. And then I'm just going to draw another line kind of in the middle just to represent the detail of the sword, if that makes any sense. And that's, again, not perfect at all. But let me go in and also erase the hair. And that's pretty much about it for the uh, sword. I can even shade that later, but let me go in and just finish um, this other shoulder here. And also, I'm going to be going in and kind of shading some things as I go, just because that's what I've always done. But um, after I finish this part, I'm actually just going to end it right here. I just wanted to um, draw the top part of them. I didn't want to do the whole body because I didn't have enough time for it. That would take way too long. But yeah, that is actually pretty much about it. Now I'm going to um, finish drawing whatever shirt he's wearing underneath. I really need to start watching the anime. And then of course, um, the checkers on his jacket looking kimono thing. Which I will do right now and be back to conclude the video. And yeah, thank you again. Let me go ahead and finish this. Alright, so I'm going to end it with here um, by finishing the shading of his hair. So um, you can actually go in, you know, be more detailed with it, but I'm just gonna, you know, pretty much just shade it in. If you did enjoy this video though, please give it a like, and um, again, the next video I'm gonna do is his sister. Um, I know that she actually turned into a demon, and that's the whole, I think, purpose of the anime. I think he's um, trying to get revenge. I, I could be way wrong. But again, it looks very interesting. I thought I'd just give it a try. And the next video after that, um, I actually do have a few plans because I am getting a few requests, you know, requests from people. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try to be even more active, but this one was just seriously something that someone else had suggested, and I've been looking into it for a while, but if you want to see any updates or request, you know, what else you like drawn somewhere else instead of here too, you can even follow me on Instagram. Again, the username is Impractical Artist. Um, I did come up with a secondary account though, like a backup account. You can just search Impractical Doodle. <laughs> so it's the same thing, but just like a backup account. And yeah, that is, again, pretty much about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another one here very soon. Now there is no set time anymore where, uh, when I'm going to make a video, though that's the only unfortunate thing. I am trying to, you know, make a video at least once a week, but sometimes that's just impossible to do. But yeah, as you can see, I'm still trying to finish up uh, the hair. Now, um, his shirt is actually black pretty sure, but I'm not going to shade that in only because it would mix in with everything else, so I might, uh, I might sit down and like fix this up a little bit more off camera and post it on my Instagram, but for this video I'm not going to, you know, go in with the shirt. But yeah, you don't actually have to keep watching. If that's all you wanted, then again, thank you for watching, and I'll be back with more videos here shortly. As you can see, I kind of got sloppy with the end of it, but yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you again.